Hello, this is Demon Phoenix with another Witcher 3 video back on the path, and this time this is about how to use the Uber build of mine from the start of New Game Plus, and also has a trick to get an extra ability slot, which I'll be using in my hybrid series that's coming up. So this is the three slot version, and this is where three Strength and Synapses slots are unlocked uh, by having eight mutations. So this is using 8 mutations, but because they take up a lot of ability points, uh, it leaves less ability points to put into the actual abilities themselves. So you can see that there are a few things that we don't have yet. So we don't have Killing Spree because we don't have enough points for Fixative to unlock Killing Spree, and we don't have enough points for Killing Spree itself. We also only have one point in Rend and one point in Razor Focus. So the core abilities of the build are the same, but on top of that we don't have enough points to put in the luxury abilities like Sunder Armor and Undying. So we have the core abilities and it would work absolutely fine. Uh, the build would be superb for New Game Plus anyway, but it just means that you'd have to get more ability points through New Game Plus before you could unlock the fourth uh, strength and synapses slot and before you could finish off your abilities and get killing spree so there are uh, a few things that you'd have to wait a little bit in new game plus to get so here you can see i'm applying the ekimara the troll decoction or succubus if you prefer the water hug decoction the basilisk decoction and the aracast decoction uh, just like the regular level 100 version so this would work very very well like i said and it's uh, still an excellent build to use in new game plus the dps is about 7,000 there and the strong attack critical hit damage is about 10,000 so it's still very powerful for this part in the game but what I personally prefer to do is to use the two slot version of it so you just cut down on the skills by having one less slot available and then you have more points to put into abilities because you've had to put less points into unlocking the actual mutations so this is the two slot version so as you can see here we've got just two slots unlocked in the strength and synapses in the middle where we've got protective coating and the synergy and then we've got a few extra points to play with to make up some of the other aspects of the build so you can either forgo skill switching and just have rage management and cat school techniques and then you don't have to bother with the skill switching at all um, but if you want to absolutely maximize the damage then you could have either heightened tolerance and cat school techniques to allow you to use the superior tawny owl and so you have better stamina regen for signs instead of using rage management or the absolute tip top version is using the skill switching to absolutely maximize that damage so what you've got is you've got the using the extra points to get sunder armor and usually i would use the extra abilities to get killing spree and use those extra points there but this is just the version showing you can do it with undying as well if you wish and then any spare points you've got after that you would put into completing rend so once you've got all that sorted you've got the two slots and the build functions much the same as it would before it's just very slightly more powerful uh, and all of the points in New Game Plus would instead go into unlocking the third Strength and Synapses slot by getting the extra mutations, and then the remaining ability points you've got would go into finishing off Rend, finishing off Razor Focus, and uh, just putting the extra points into that to make the build as it was in level 100. So here you can see I'm using the skill switching, the Manticore gear and everything like that, and then removing the acquired tolerance and metabolic control and swapping them back for rage management and cat school techniques so this is very very close to the actual level 100 build even though you're missing those ability points because we've still got the core things in place and this would allow you to do pretty much anything you wanted in new game plus and with the aracast decoction and protective coating and that set of gear with the unvic trousers it means that the percentages of protection are still so good that you wouldn't take very much damage at all if any damage from anything so if you'd unlock Killing Spree, then you would just put it in place of Undying. Now the next thing I'm going to show uh, could be considered cheating, so if you don't want to do it, then don't, that's absolutely fine. But there is a double ability glitch, which is properly cheating, because if you use it to get Acquired Tolerance in the fourth Strength and Synapses slot or Synergy, you can then get a second version of Acquired Tolerance and Synergy. Now that is most definitely, like I say, cheating, because that's not how the game is intended to be played, but if you want to do it, go for it. However, you can use the double ability glitch instead of having double abilities you can just put the ability in the fourth strength and synapses slot and then keep it there and what that basically does is it means you can get the same thing on your build but you just get it a little earlier in new game plus and that's what i'm going to show here so this is the extra slot version of the build now what we do here is it's the same as the two slot version except before we do anything uh, we just use a potion of clearance to take out all the points out of the abilities and give us as many abilities as available as possible. Now for this you have to unlock all 12 mutations and then reset them 
and open the first four mutations again and later in New Game Plus you'd have to unlock the very remaining re mutation so overall it uses a lot more greater mutagens so make sure that you have enough greater mutagens to do this and probably make a manual save before you do it and convert all of your wraith muta muta mutagens and things like that um, so that you can make more greater mutagens and you need the Corvo Bianco upgrades to be able to do that so this is what you do you unlock all 12 mutations which unlocks all of the strength and synapses slots in the middle there and then you unlock the green tree abilities up until you've got synergy so you put five points in synergy you can see we've still got 12 points left there so you could do this from approximately level 42 and maybe a little later and if you've done blood and wine and hearts of stone you should definitely be high enough level to do it before you start new game plus so you put synergy in the last of those four slots for the strength and synapses slots and then use a potion of restoration to remove the abilities from your mutations and reset the mutations back to having none of them unlocked now when you do that this is the glitch it keeps the ability that you had in that fourth slot there so you can still use it so you're using the same ability but you have more ability points to put back into the rest of your ability tree and you only have to use enough mutation mutagens and ability points to unlock the mut mutations that you actually want to use which in this case i'm just unlocking the first two blue and first two green ones so i can use euphoria or piercing cold depending on which build i want to use so when I re-equip Euphoria, you've got enough, uh, you've got the two extra strength and synapses slots there for having four mutations, but Synergy stays active and it's still there and it will actually be working. So when I apply these greater mutagens, you'll see that it's plus 15% and plus instead of plus 10. And so it is working and you do get the boost for it. It's just you don't have to dedicate an extra slot to it and you have more ability points to play with. One of the things I love about this is that if you do this and then equip Piercing Cold, you don't have to waste the slots in the middle on having blue build sign abilities which would be better used on the outside slots to boost the greater blue mutagens you can use one of those slots using this glitch as having synergy instead so you don't have to put the synergy on one of the outside slots and you don't waste a slot that could other be bo otherwise be boosting a greater blue mutagen and i'll use that in some of the hybrid builds that use piercing cold so coming back to the level 50 something version of this uh, new game plus build for euphoria and the uber tank build you just build up the exact same stuff that you would normally so we've got rage management cat school techniques metabolic control and we will be using the normal abilities and skill switching in this version to make it as powerful as possible again you can forego skill switching and just uh, drop undying and rage management and just ha leave acquired tolerance and metabolic control there if you want so we put protective coating in one of those slots and we still have an extra green slot there in the second strength and synapses slot but when you come to start the combat tree you have 48 points so there's quite a lot more left over so this is going to let us easily use the skills that we want uh, on the strong and adrenaline trees and the fast attack trees so we get five points in will again we just start with one point in rend because rend's very good even with just one point as long as you can use it one point in razor focus because that still grants you the extra adrenaline point when you first go into battle the other points for that are just bonus because they increase the adrenaline from sword blows but that's more of a luxury than a core ability of the build so we put everything in place we have rend we have the five points in will one point in razor focus and you can see that we've still got 16 points left over and this is where it really comes into play having that extra slot and the couple of extra ability points just to flesh out the build a little bit more and make it into its ultimate version even at this comparatively lower level than compared to the level 100 build so i'm going to use those extra points to get five points in sunder armor and also going to use them to unlock the killing spree uh, ability and that can go in the second strength and synapses slot so really all you're missing by the time you've finished doing this is the only thing you're missing is the extra strength and synapses slot the last one that you would unlock and that would normally be fixative or tissue transmutation and both of those are luxuries because fixative you can always just reapply the oils themselves and you'd be changing oil quite a lot anyway and tissue transmutation it's nice to have that vitality but you take so little damage with the build that you don't actually need it for very many fights if any at all so those are both luxuries and you don't really have to worry about them as much so five points in sunder armor just one point in undying so that you can uh, power up that greater red mutagen and you've got all 10 combat skills there so all of the points 
in New Game Plus would first go into maximizing rend and razor focus and those skills and then from then on you would just be maxing out the getting the mutation so that you would have the third strength and synapses slot and by the time you'd done that you would effectively have all four slots unlocked because synergy would still be in that sort of hidden or glitched fourth slot. So you get the exact same build you just get it a little bit earlier and then you can use the skill switching here like I'm doing use the same five decoctions and switch back to the regular gear and that is pretty much the build in full even though you are 46 levels away from being full and you haven't even started new game plus yet so this is very very effective so instead of the build video showing you at level 100 this one is actually useful for using through new game plus and that thing about getting the extra synergy or acquired tolerance or whichever you want to put in the extra slot using the glitch that's something that i will use in hybrid videos that are going to be upcoming i've got a lot of ideas for hybrid videos that i want to show but you don't have to and these hybrid videos will also show how little difference it makes if you don't want to use the glitch if you just want to do it normally that'll be in the videos as well so don't worry about it but it's just something to bear in mind if you do want to do it so this is the level 100 and it's just going to show the actual differences and how many points you can save through doing this. Um, so that's going to be coming up in just a moment, which we will see shortly. So if you use the full build, uh, you'll see that at the level 100 version, there are 30 points left over. So you could do it at approximately level 70, uh, give or take. So uh, just before I come on to that, you'll see this is what I was talking about. This is a piercing cold, one of the hybrid builds that we're going to be showing. And that has acquired tolerance. You would probably be better off putting synergy there, but it's just to show you can use different abilities. And it leaves enough space for you to put the sign abilities with the greater blue, blue mutagen so that even if you're not got euphoria, you can keep the sign intensity up and still keep that hybrid build usable and use things like piercing cold in New Game Plus. So that's quite useful. Uh, so the last thing that we are going to be showing is what a difference this makes uh, when you come to actually be doing the build in New Game Plus and how early you can finish it off. So here at level 100 you are 30 points um, spare and this is with all the places of power and obviously all your points from leveling but you could do it a, a, you could do the entire build with all 12 mutations and all four mutagen, mutagen slots unlocked and you could do that at roughly level 70 it'd probably be closer to level 75 because some of those places of power points you don't get until much later in the game because they're only in certain points of the story but anyway that you'd be about level 75 but if you'd use the glitch first and you have the fourth slot unlocked before you even start the build at the start of new game plus like i've just shown there you would only need to unlock the uh, remaining eight mutations to unlock the third strength and synapses slot and you would effectively have all of them there so that's what i've just done unlock enough mutations to have the third slot and synergy is still sitting there in the fourth one so this is the full build with all points in everything that it needs to be and you can see that there are still uh, 24 points more than if you did it with the regular unlocking all 12 mutations so you can get it quite a lot earlier in new game plus and have the uber build for the whole thing now i think that's quite good and it's not as much really cheating as so much just optimizing the build a little bit so i hope you enjoyed that and i will be using that in the hybrid video so thank you very much for watching and stay tuned